Hi, I'm Jake, and I'm a bearded idiot, and welcome to a brief history of Aqua Baby. Aquaman, aka Arthur Curry, is a character who has always embraced the lighter, funner, more family-friendly side of the DC universe. So it was natural that he and his wife Mira would eventually have a son who was named Arthur Curry Jr. The child is more well known as Aqua Baby. Aqua Baby was a fan favorite and brought in lots of younger readers. The charm of the Aquaman comics was unprecedented during the character's debut and many wild adventures were had. Even Aquaman's evil half-brother, Ocean Master, couldn't help but find the character adorable. And although he hated Aquaman, Aqua Baby was always very well respected by the villain. But there was one villain who was immune to the comic book charms of the character. He was Black Manta, Aquaman's worst villain. One day, Black Manta suffocated Aqua Baby to death. The child's death resulted in Aquaman and Mira's divorce. Aqua Baby was buried in Mercy Reef. The place Aquaman had been left to die as a child before he was orphaned. In another act of spite, Black Manta then destroyed Mercy Reef as well as Aqua Baby's grave. Aqua Baby's death ushered in a different era for the character of Aquaman, and perhaps even DC Comics itself. DC had become a darker, more realistic universe, and Aqua Baby didn't survive the shift. However, many years later, Aqua Baby returned to DC Comics. He was brought back to life. Unfortunately, it was a reanimated corpse and was a pale imitation of the real character. It screamed for a while, questioning its painful existence. Then Aqua Baby was burnt to death by his own mother. Huh. Comic books are dark. 